All right. Hello, everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today I'm super excited to bring you a video from the brand new On One Photo Raw 2017.5 update. So this is a brand new update. They just launched it this morning, and I'm going to show you one of the new features. So here's your brand new lens corrections panel. Now, I know a lot of you have been asking for this for a while, and On One made good on their promise. So if you've never used lens corrections before, it's nothing to be scared of, it's super simple. Basically you have your camera profile here that it auto detects and your lens profile. So you can see that it, this is a raw file from my Nikon D810 and the software automatically detected it's a Nikon camera and that I'm using my 16 to 35 wide angle lens. So just by default, it auto detects and it does some auto correction. So if I click this little check mark on and off, Okay, you can see that it's it's making some changes for me. Now, most of the time, I'm gonna say probably 90% of the time, uh, this works out really well. Now, the other 10%, you can get a little creative and you can experiment with other lens profiles. You can click the little drop down box and you can use another lens if you just wanna play around and see what it does. Or you can jump into the manual settings area and you can add your own distortion. You can kind of give it a fisheye effect this way, or you can really stretch it and make it this you know super weird wide angle effect. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset it, which by the way, in On One Photo Raw, if you want to reset any slider back to zero, you just simply double click the, uh, the name of the slider. So if I have this down here, I just double click the word distortion and it resets itself. So what I'm looking at here to fix this is I'm looking that the, uh, the granite countertop here is still just a little bit sloped, kind of falling off to the right. So I'm looking to correct that just a little bit. I might add about... 6%. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so that fixed that problem. Now down here under color fringe, this is basically your chromatic aberration issues. So if you're ever shooting into the sun and you see those little uh, green or purple halos around the edges of trees or horizon lines or any kind of contour to the image, uh, these sliders will come in handy. And then here's the fall off area. So if you're using some some old lenses, maybe some old manual lenses that have really bad light fall off in the corners and on the edges. Uh, this is really nice and you can like lighten the corners up and lighten the edges or you can even go the opposite way and create kind of a natural looking vignette. So you can kind of get creative with that. Um, but for this uh, example, I'm just gonna use this distortion slider. So I'm gonna add a, another 6% here, uh, which you know just kind of fix it just a little bit more on this, on this straight edge countertop. But we have a couple of other issues because I was shooting with a uh, wide angle lens on a full frame camera. So it was a really, really wide angle. I think I was shooting at 16 millimeters. Um, and so what happens is I'm getting these converging vertical lines. You can see the, this line, uh, at where these two walls meet here are kind of leaning and bending in towards the middle of the image. And it's the same thing for this line over here where the cabinets end. So there's another great tool to fix this that you can use in conjunction with the lens corrections panel. So if we go up here and click show more and then choose the transform tool, we have the transform panel here. And here on the vertical slider, you can see you can actually straighten the edges or converge them more. So if I go to the positive values, I'm gonna keep going until they look about straight to me. So maybe something like that, 33% looks about good. And you can see the difference that that made. Let me double click this and reset it. We went from there all the way to 33% and that really straightened some of the lines here on the wall and the cabinet. Uh, and then if we go to the, to the horizontal, kind of stretches it. So you can see left kind of stretches it and pulls the image either way. So what I think I'm gonna do is go into the negatives just a little bit and let's see, something like that. Negative 3% looks good. I'm looking at my, at my straight edges here, my, my, uh, my granite countertop again with the straight line there. Uh, and then the rotation is simply just basically making sure everything's level. So with this, I think everything was pretty level, but I think I'm still having trouble with that, the edge of that gra the granite countertop there. So negative 0.3 looks good to me. And then of course, I know you've already noticed the dead pixels in the top corner and the bottom here. So that's a super simple fix, uh, especially with a 36 megapixel camera. We just use the scale slider and there you go. Zoom that in, it's basically cropping it in, filling in the dead pixels and there we go. So look at that. Let's uh, choose to 
turn these off for a second. And so that's basically the raw file as it came in. And then here is the lens corrections that we made. And then here is the transform correction that we made. So that is a huge difference to those vertical lines and making sure everything is very symmetrical and uh, just very professional looking. You know, this, if you go back to here, it just doesn't look very nice at all. And then this is much more pleasing to the eye because the eye is used to seeing lines and vertical lines very symmetrical. You know, we're not used to seeing converging lines with our eyes. So uh, using a combination of the lens corrections panel and the transform panel, we've made this look pretty good so we can actually start post-processing it. So that is your new lens corrections panel in On One Photo Raw 2017.5. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my photography videos and free tutorials, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to improve your photography, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.